This gang has tried to blow up a Sinn Féin meeting in Dublin. They killed a doorman and seriously wounded another, but their bomb didn't go off. Outlawed Ulster Volunteer Force has admitted staging the most serious loyalist attack in the Irish Republic for 20 years. They tried to blow up a Sinn Féin fundraising meeting at a pub in Dublin. They shot one doorman dead and seriously wounded another, but their bomb failed to explode. A UVF statement tonight claimed they'd struck at the heart of the Republican movement in its own backyard. The bar was packed with drinkers at the busiest time of an evening devoted to a fundraising event for Republican prisoners. Two strangers tried to get in. When the doorman refused to let them, they shot him several times. A second doorman was shot as he slammed the door in the gang's faces. As the men escaped, they left behind a holdall containing 18 pounds of explosive. After the pub cleared, the detonator went off, but the bomb failed to explode. We were there a couple of minutes. There was a, uh, a man on the, on the ground with three bullets in him. He had, he had his shirt off. And um, we heard another bang. And people thought it was still someone inside with a gun. But uh, someone shouted, it's a bomb, there's a bomb, and everybody ran in panic. Police hunting for the gang, thought to be three men strong, say the death and damage could have been much worse. It would be carnage, and it obviously a much more serious, uh, we were dealing with something far more serious, because if it had gone off, crowded pub, I don't have to leave it to you to, to uh, imagine what could have happened. It was the most devastating loyalist attack in the Republic in the past 20 years, since a total of 33 people died in Dublin and Monaghan in the single worst day of the Troubles. The shootings represent a serious escalation of the bloodshed in Ireland. What's of particular concern is the relative sophistication of the bomb and that the gang was prepared to drive to Dublin to plant it. The Irish government will undoubtedly regard this as a sinister development and it will top the agenda when Deputy Prime Minister Dick Spring and the Northern Ireland Secretary Sir Patrick Mayhew hold an already scheduled meeting on the border tomorrow. Chris West, BBC News, Dublin. The Sinn supporters when gunmen tried to force their way in, treating the doorman dead. After their way was blocked, they opened fire again, seriously injuring another man. They then left the whole wall back, packed with 18 pounds of explosives. When the bombs scored screaming and pandemonium broke out and people started running left, right and centre and uh, the stewards did their best to calm people down so that they could get them all out in time and they told everybody to stay away from the pub. There was screaming, women screaming and crying and roaring and shouting. There was a small blast as the bomb's detonator was activated but the main device failed to explode. Police say it was remarkable that they weren't dealing with a case of mass murder. I would think carnage if it had gone off in the licensed premises. But the pub was pretty crowded at the time, so I would imagine it would have been fairly disastrous. Police say they found a Northern Ireland registered getaway car near to the scene. The main theory is that loyalist terrorists... In every page of history Men and women to cast on The thing that's gave us dark on We're so proud of this young man Who fought a British agent when The murder was in plan The target was the widow's pop the public it with me The skin was even massacred In that quiet Dublin street Those gangsters and assassins The UVF did claim Those killers set out from their base To shoot, to bomb, to aim As the crowd enjoyed their evening Forgetting all their care Assassins are not ready They were looking towards the stairs Their plan to quickly run straight up And tell them they first Water 
You are not. 